Ms. Kelly Stevens, Dr. Bradley will see you now. And will Mr. Jonathan Collins be joining you today? No. Right in here, Ms. Stevens. Yeah. The doctor will be with you soon. Kelly! Kelly, you home? John? John? What's wrong, Kelly? What's going on? Just... Don't get upset, okay? I'm not. Just tell me what's going on. Okay. I know this wasn't really the plan, but... I'm pregnant. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What if you're fucked? <laughs> Miss Stevens, there are a few legal documents we'll need you to sign before we can go through with the procedure. I'll leave these with you for a few moments, and I'll be back. Honey, you look nervous. Just relax. It'll all be okay. <clears throat> well, Doc? Dr. Bradley, what is it? Well, I have some good news. You're both going to be proud parents of a baby boy. That's wonderful. I'm going to have a son. Doc, mm -hmm. what is it? What are you telling us? Well, the reason we needed to cut the, cut the uh, ultrasound short was because I wanted to consult with one of my colleagues. Dr. McCallum is one of the leading uh, special needs pediatricians in the nation. If she is positive, the fetus will turn out to have trisomy 21, commonly known as Down syndrome. As you could take at this point, one path is to have him grow up with this condition. He will lack uh, muscle tone, which may mean that he will be unable to eat orally for the first year or so of his life. When he grows up, he will have difficulty speaking, um, and he will be able to understand um, what you're telling him, but he will be unable to communicate back to you all that he all that he understands. This will lead to him feeling trapped in his own mind. Now, the life expectancy of someone with Down syndrome would be about 55 years. If he's lucky, he'll make it to 60, but he'll need your constant care and attention. Independent living is, is not typical for someone with Down syndrome. It's possible, but not typical. And when you two go, well, the outcomes, they're not good. So that is one option, a difficult option, but an option nonetheless. And the second option? Well, we can use a planned parenting procedure such as termination. You mean abortion? Well, to put it simply, yes. Well, you can give me an answer now, or you can discuss it for a week. Well, we're not having an abortion. What do you mean we'll discuss it? I need time to think about What's it. What's there to think about? Not now, John. I said I need to think about it. Well, what I'll do is I'll tentatively schedule your appointment. 
If you want to cancel it, you can easily cancel it at any time. Ms. Stevens, take as long as you need to get changed, and when you're ready, I'll walk you to the operating room. Dr. Bradley will meet us there. Thank you. Why couldn't you answer him? It's basic human instinct, Kelly. I'm not saying I'm gonna go through with it. I just need time to think about it. You heard what he said. This child will never be able to support himself. He said it's possible. You do realize this is our son we're talking about? Exactly. Do you really want our son to be trapped in his own mind? And the cost, John, he'll be in and out of hospitals all the time. He'll be subject to humiliation that for a disability he didn't choose. Oh, but it's okay for you to take the gift of life away from a baby for a disability he didn't choose. This is my son we're talking about, not some kid off the street. I don't care if he makes my life a little bit harder. I want to teach him how to play baseball and bet him to ride a bike. I want to show him off to my family and to my friends. I don't care if it means I have to make a few sacrifices. This is my son and we are his parents. What do you mean we? Stop changing the subject, Kelly. No, seriously, what we? Our relationship was hanging by a thread to begin with. You're always working, and when you're not working, you're spending more time with those stupid cars you work on than with, with me. I moved in with you to spend time you with you. You moved in with me because you couldn't afford to pay the rent. I was laid off. You offered for me to move in with you. The point is, if you can't take care of me, what in the world makes you think you can take care of a child with special needs? The point is, is that we are this child's parents, and I am his father, and I will take care of him even if you abandon him! Watch the road, John, you're gonna get us killed! Oh, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Because one person in this car is gonna die within a week anyways. I cannot believe you. It's not even alive yet. Disgusting. Where are you going? To your mother's house. Well, you think if you can just kick me out for a few days and I'll change my mind? Well, guess what? I'm not. We're not legally bound together, John. I, if you're not there in one week, I'll do it myself. I'm gonna do what's right for, for the both of us. Wait, you weren't kidding? No, Kelly, I wasn't. John, please, let's just talk about this. There's nothing to talk about, Kelly. Get out. Miss Stevens, are you okay in there? Miss Stevens, are you okay in there? Sorry, I'm fine. Are you ready to go? <laughs> 